boom, 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 boom. And one more for the boom. Five stars, baby. What y'all been asking for, it went down. And as you can see, I'm wearing a guy that can recruit. Y'all been doubting him. I understand the struggle's been real, but you got to understand when you're in high stakes recruiting, this is the life, baby. Welcome to the SEC. So we're here to excite it to talk about David Stone, five-star plus defensive lineman, one of the top players in the country, the number one defensive lineman on ESPN's top uh, 300 is a Sooner. He just committed at his game on ESPN2. If you are watching this video, we're actually live right now. So y'all can just, you know, get excited with us. So I wanted to come in and just say that initially. We're not going to bury the lead on this one. David Stone picked Oklahoma. And there's plenty of reasons why we know why he picked Oklahoma. But we're going to talk about the fact that he picked Oklahoma. Go look at some film. Look at his measurables like we always do. But before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. What up, baby? Thank y'all for pulling up to the YouTube channel. Please hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. We would also like you to hop in the comments and tell me how you feel. I know y'all are stressed out. I know there was a lot going on. I had heard some things before that I had to keep quiet. But at the same time, telling you people, we got our boy. We landed David Stone. Gosh, man, that's just... Take a sip. Because we should be excited, man. Like I said, we're live right now. Y'all can go watch it. If you're watching this later on, we had a live stream. So go just check in the archives. We're chopping it up about this scenario. But what we're going to do here, we're going to look at his measurables like we always do. We're going to go through the film and watch Stone just demolish people last season. And hopefully we'll get some film for this season to start showing throughout the week. So keep your eyes open. But let's go ahead and jump into his measurables. One of the biggest personalities in college football right now, David Stone Jr., a.k.a. Stoney, 6'4", 280-pound defense alignment out at IMG Academy. He's currently in Florida, but he is from Dell City, Oklahoma, from Oklahoma City area. And overall, man, look at this, man. He is a five-star plus. That means Every recruiting site has him as a five star. So I've had some people come in my comments. Oh, that player's not a four star. He's a three star. We go off of their highest rating by the highest recruiting site. Every site's different. But right here, David Stone is the number six player in the country based upon ESPN and a consensus number eight and composite number eight in the country. Dude's a monster. And y'all have seen him play before. Y'all have seen the film that we've gone through, but he is a beast. And of course, the excitement is there, man. Look, this was a battle. And I'm going to tell you why this was a battle as his film's rolling in the background. David Stone was being heavily recruited by Jason Taylor. If you don't know who that is, you don't know ball. But I'm going to explain that to you. Jason Taylor, Hall of Fame defensive lineman that played for the Miami Dolphins. He works for the Miami Hurricanes, they have brought in some star power. And yes, that is a very intriguing offer for any young player. They grew up watching Jason Taylor. I grew up watching Jason Taylor. Dude's a beast. And he was the primary recruiter for him at Miami. And so because Stoney is based in Florida right now, his mom sent him out. That is one of the reasons why it felt like David Stone was not going to come to Oklahoma. It was more of a, he doesn't live here. He's from here, but he don't live here. And so if the family could have convinced him to stay in Florida and then they moved to Florida with him, man, it would have been tough. But I tried to emphasize a lot, man, the relationship that he has with Todd Bates, Brent Venables, Miguel Chavis, but mainly Todd Bates, was paramount in this decision. And, I mean, I recall hearing some people tell me that on a random day during the week, you could totally see Todd Bates in his office with David Stone with his feet up on an unofficial visit, just kicking it. Like, he saw him as a very mentor-ish, fatherly figure, right? He was, he's big on him overall and so it made so much sense for him to want to go play for Ty Bates we've watched Ty Bates put some guys in the NFL we've seen him get top tier talent now granted 
I've got a video coming out on Sunday before our Sunday live stream. If you're watching this later, then you then you can go back into the archives. But I'm going to talk about those Clemson classes and some of the misconception around them on how they weren't just walking in getting five stars, how they had to work to get those players that was leading to the national championships. And then the five stars showed up. But we'll break that down in another video. But overall, Stoney here's a monster. You're watching him just toss dudes around, force his way, impose his will. Dude's just, he's everything we have dreamed of from Oklahoma. And it's funny because as we were looking at everything, all of the, um, the, the future cast, the predictions, the crystal balls from 247 just start to flow in yesterday. And people were like, yeah, we sense that this is a done deal. We sense that, I mean, hell, it's, it's one of those secrets that was like the secret everybody knew that, yeah, he wouldn't play at Oklahoma. It was just some convincing to do, and he decided, you know what? Oklahoma's for me. And we're glad that because he's building a part. He gave a shock value because he's a part of that power line, right? He's part of the power line with Wyatt Gilmore, with his boy, um, Jaden Jackson, and we're hoping we can add a Nigel Smith to that in two weeks, Whenever he does his commitment, we're going to cross our fingers and toes that that comes to fruition. Adding him, adding a player, maybe a Dominic McKinley by September 1st, maybe by next week. We might get lucky to see him. I don't know about that one, but if we can add McKinley to that, you add, like I said, you got Wyatt Gilmore, Jaden Jackson, you toss in Nigel Smith, and, you know, long term, you may, you know, pick up somebody to flip from other commitment. I don't know. There's a few players that we're going after, but all I can say is this. David Stone attracts talent. He's a magnetic personality. He's a great kid. I've seen nothing but greatness out of him, and I've heard nothing but great things about him. The dude volunteers all the time when he's in town. You can see him at, like, the regional food bank. He does all kinds of He's a kid that you want to have at your program, even with the theatrics of this commitment. You want him there because he's magnetic. He's going to attract other players. And other players are going to be like, okay, so you got faith in this staff? Cool, I'll put my faith in them too. And so I anticipate him doing the recruiting too. I anticipate him saying, hey, man, picking up the phone, but like, hey, I understand you're here. I understand you're here. Come play with me. Come play with me. We can make this happen. We can make this happen, blah, blah, blah. Because great players like playing with great players. Don't get the misconception and think that, you know, these kids want to go play with, you know, quote unquote scrubs. Like this one, I want to be the great best player on the team and the only good player. No, they don't want to be the focal point on the defensive line. They don't want to be a focal point on the offensive side. They want to be a component that is that is dominant while everybody else is able to dominate too. So don't get it twisted. He's going to do some recruiting. And when I say some recruiting, a lot. So hop in the comments. Let your boy know how you feeling. Y'all as excited as I am? Man, look. I know y'all was stressed. I was stressed too. My blood pressure was up. I've had some beverages. Like I said, if you're watching us on the live stream and you've come here afterwards, thank y'all for pulling up there. Uh, I've had a few of the schooner uh, L's this entire time while we were going through and watching the commitment of him. So, you know, I'm stoked and I'm just glad that uh, we won this one. And Todd Bates can, you know, get some respect finally. Respect this man. Respect his authority. That's all I ask from y'all. Y'all made it this far and you like what you see, hit the like button, new to the channel, subscribe. We want you to join the family. We're talking a lot of college football here, man. I am, I've, I've been upping the videos, if you've noticed. Uh, my live stream on Sundays is when you guys can come in and chop it up with us around Sooner Ball and college football. We're going to expand that, probably make that an hour and a half to two hour show later. And then I also drop my own solo show during the week. Uh, the the namesake of the channel, Unfair Sports. It's where I'm just talking college ball, baby. We're going to grow this channel that way and get ourselves up there to the late kick status, right? Y'all help me get there, man. We can keep this channel free. We drop. We got memberships right now if you want to support, help us get there. And, uh, of course, all those founding fathers and, and mothers will always be taken care of by your boy. We got a Patreon that I've dropped also in the comments inside of the uh, description also. For those that don't want to do the YouTube membership but would like to get the uh, access to that, the content, as well as access to our Discord Got a Discord link down there. We've got some special rooms we're going to have for the college football season for those that are uh, members and stuff. So if you want to support, i got to give you perks for supporting, right? I get a lot of people asking me if they can support me, you know, help, uh, you know, thank me for creating the content. The number one thanks for me is a like and a subscribe and a share. Those are things you can definitely show your support. But if you want to throw some ducats at your boy, hop into Patreon, hop on a YouTube membership. Um... Go from there. So 
YouTube said watch one of these videos. I highly recommend it because your boy's in it. So we will chop it up about more recruits. We're going to talk predictions and all kinds of stuff over the next couple weeks. And we are a week away from football, baby. Let's get excited. We'll chop it up soon. Peace.